Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and Abode for Children. And today I found out that September is the month of Sorrows of Mary. And there are seven sorrows um, of Mary. The first is the prophecy of Simeon and Anna. The second um, sorrow is the flight into Egypt. The third is the loss of the child Jesus. The fourth is the uh, condemnation of Jesus. The fifth is the crucifixion of Jesus. The sixth is the retrieval of Jesus' body. And the seventh station is the burial of Jesus. So these are the sorrows that Mary went through um, in her life. As she, you know, uh, Simeon prophesied, even a sword will pierce your, your heart. And, you know, as I was praying through it, and I've always said that the number one disciple of Jesus Christ was his mother. She was there from the beginning to the end. Um, and now she is with him in heaven as queen of heaven um, and earth. And how do we know that? Because in the book of Revelations, there's a woman clothed with the sun, um, with the moon under her feet. And so we know that she's in heaven with our Lord. And she is the queen because he is the king. And in Jewish tradition, from my understanding, the queen is always the the mother of the the son, the king. Um, it's not his wife, per se. So as we pray through September and the sorrows of Mary, you know, I couldn't even imagine losing it. I mean, I've lost, not lost, but, you know, kids get away from you when you're at the store. Or, you know, we were camping once, and Cletus went and hid in the car, and we didn't know it. And we're all looking. Everybody's frantically looking, and we were right near a lake. Um, or a pond and you know the, of course all the the worst things in the world come to your head when you lose a child and I could see where that sorrow um, would come in and or burying a, a child I, I, I can't even imagine that I watched my mom bury my older brother and it, it just it broke her heart and to see and to to see and walk with him through these sorrowful times, I mean, to watch your, your child um, be crucified. And she was there the whole time. She didn't give up. So as we're praying through September, let's, let's be thankful for what our Lord did for us. Let's be thankful that his mother stood by his side. Let's be thankful that she said yes to God's call originally, because without her, I don't know if we wouldn't have redemption, right? She needed to be okay with it. And she had free will. She could have said no. But she didn't. And Jesus loved his mother wholeheartedly. From the cross, she gave him her to John to take care of. Son, behold your mother. Mother, behold your son. And, and she did. She kept the apostles together. Um, she was still teaching them because she knew all the teachings that Jesus was teaching and, and brought. She, she knew it all. So as we go through life, let's turn to our Heavenly Mother. Let's call her blessed, because all generations will call her blessed. She is the Blessed Mother. Join us tomorrow night, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. for the Rosary. We'll pray the joyful mysteries tomorrow, and uh, Deacon John Reagan will be giving a reflection. We look forward to his reflections. And I, I just, I would ask you to join us. It, it's a powerful, powerful intercessory prayer, and... It's always good to have a good reflection at the end of it. But know that these prayers, we pray for our country, our church, our family, and all those who send in prayer requests. So if you have any prayer requests, send them in to powerhour at gospa.org, powerhour at gospa.org. Um, if you find it in your heart and in your wallet that you could make a donation, we could use it. We're in the, still in the slow part of our year, and we could use sales. So if you're looking to buy a gift, uh, go to gospa.org or stop in our store in Evan City. 
Um, but know that we'll be praying for you three times a day. And uh, we just thank you so much for all you do for us. And we thank our Lord for the blessing. And, you know, Gospa is Croatian for Our Lady. So it's Our Lady's mission. And her mission is to lead souls to Jesus. That's what her mission on earth was. That's what her mission in heaven is. And that's why she appears to us and says, pray much, sacrifice, fast for the conversion of sinners, starting with myself. God bless you all. Don't forget, Jesus loves you.